Hello everyone and welcome back to Danganronpa of V3. He's still up there making noise. Anyway, in the last one, uh, Miyu agreed to help us. I'm really glad that she did. Uh, I was a little bit worried about that. Um, other than that, it looks like we have some free time now. Now, they're alluding that uh, the free time that we're coming up with is going to be maybe some of the last free time we're coming up with. That doesn't make me feel too positive, but um, I, I'm still mulling it over about who I want to talk to, but I was also given a quick tip. Hello, Ryoma, how are you? Um, that we might be able to get into Miyu's lab at this point since it is considered free time. And I wanted to actually see if that was the thing that I could try, because I have a feeling that some of these probably won't be open at certain points of the game. We asked Miyu to modify the cameras, so I shouldn't bother her right now. Oh, oh, uh. Oh, man. Fine, maybe I messed it up. Maybe I didn't understand what they were talking about. Maybe it's later. All right, the other thing I didn't look at um, is there is students. You can actually find where the students are. Now, this is really handy, especially for like right now, because in free time, you don't really need to go around and talk to everybody. They're all gonna say one line and then it's gonna say, do you wanna hang out with them now? So, you know, that's a little bit of a time waster. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna find who I want to talk to and then go to, you know, the quickest area. Oh look, we actually are kind of there already, so... I don't really have to go anywhere, but I thought that was a little bit neat. Thank you for pointing that out. I don't know how I missed that before, but let me tell you, I'm probably gonna miss a lot of things because that's what I do. I miss things. Also, it seems like with this one, there's just a lot more pressure to look at everything because there's a lot more going on. Now, I don't know where they are, but I'm assuming they're in here because that's where it looked like. Are they, is everyone just hanging out in the dorms? Maybe they're having a party or something in someone's room. Hello? Who's in here? Tenko, just you? Hmm, oh, maybe they're in their rooms. They could be. Uh, let's see. Knock, knock. Eh? Can we go in? Himiko, are you sleeping? Oh, I'm sorry. You all right there, girl? No? I'm tired from talking to Tenko. Yeah, I can see how that might be a thing. <laughs> Himiko seems tired. Should I spend time with her? Uh, I hope that's not a warning. Some people did say that this game is not very good about letting you know who you can and cannot talk to. I'm gonna try it now. Let's see if she'll do it. You alright there, darling? No? Uh-oh. Uh did I- did I just waste time? I spent some time next to Himiko, who stayed quiet due to her exhaustion. Man, she needs some vitamins or something. Himiko and I grew a little closer today. Well, it says that it worked. I don't know if it actually did. Look at her face, man. That is about anybody that about to be my friend. They're like, this boring ass bitch again. <laughs> Fine. I don't know if I have anything she'll like. I will go back and get some more stuff. Um, through the mono machine. We'll just do that off screen, I think. Um, I wonder if she'd like some candy or something. You know, candy might, like, wake her up a little bit. I don't know. How about, how about some candy, darling? You, you seem, well, what else would a mage want? Beret. How to raise hamsters. A coat. The coat might look nice on her. Teen magazine. She probably doesn't want that. Fashion accessory. Music score. Grip, training, sewing kit, art book, oh, it was so much stuff, it's weird. Great for gloomy people. She's kind of gloomy, isn't she? Well, Maki's the most gloomy I can think of, maybe that's for her. Pill that sleeps well. Girl, you need this, clearly you need to sleep. Here, take this. Do you want this? Hmm. Uh, offerings for the mighty Himiko. Yes, this will do. This thing has no magic. A gift for a mage should be magical, you know? Girl, I was, I was just thinking about your health. I was just trying to get your ass to sleep. Clearly, I did the wrong thing. Don't look at me. I had good intentions. Don't worry about the rest of it. Nighttime won't start for a while, so I guess I'll see what everyone else is doing. Now, I'm assuming because Himiko didn't ask us anything that that was a flub. That was probably a flub and I shouldn't have talked to her because it warned me that she was tired. All right, um, if 
fine. So I fucked up. That's fine. I don't mind. It happens. Oh, look. Actually, look at this. This actually tells you who you really can't talk to, or are they just in other places? No, they're just in other places. Good. Let's go talk to... Yes. Because I really want to. Alright, there's Hamie. And our boy should be right here. Here he is. What's up, Oog? How you doing, Gonta? What world two gentlemen do in time like this? Should I spend time with Gonta? Yeah, why not? I want to get to know him oh. better. Oh, okay. If you're okay with Gonta. Sure, why not? Uh, you'll probably be a lot more fun than Himika was. I spent some time trying to cheer Gonta up. Aw, he's sad. Don't be sad, Oog. Gonta and I grew a little closer today. I would love to give him something, but I don't know what he would like. Do I have anything for a caveman? Do I have the newest gaming system that he might like? I have a paw. How about a robot mascot? <laughs> Good lord, I don't even know. Flower. Aluminum film. Making it handy for outdoor activities. Well, isn't he always outside? Maybe he doesn't need it though, because he's like hardened to the outside, I don't know. Uh, oh shite, I don't even know anymore. Oh, used as bait for certain animals and insects. Here you go, you might like this. Because then you can maybe capture an insect with this, sir. Wow, wow, going to think bug friends will like this. Kaede like bugs too? Come to so happy. Um. What a joy. Kaede, you like music? Of course. Of course. I'm the ultimate pianist after all. Hey! Oh, Gonta like music too. Huh? Really? What kind of music do you like? Gonta. Bug songs! That's Gonta's favorite. Um. What? Do you like the song about worm doodles? Do you guys know I'm talking? Okay, never mind. Mm. That's old. Worm doodles? Mmm. Gonta think Kaede probably like bug songs. I saw a bug's life once. Is that what you're talking about? I'd rather not talk about bugs, but maybe I could talk about crickets or something. Crickets are bugs, hey. Kaede. In Gonta Forest, lots of big bugs. They real good singers. Big bugs, scary looking, but make pretty songs. I don't want to hear about bugs. I'm sorry, Gonta, but I'm going to change the subject. What's the problem with talking about them? It's not like they're here. Yeah, that's right. Don't you think music is great for changing the mood? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. You're right. Fun music make Gonta happy, too. When no can sleep, go on to take off clothes, play music, then can sleep all night. What? Is that a euphemism for something else? Oh, huh? I think that it is. Gone to you animal. Will you sleep naked? Mm. Gone to learn to sleep naked in forest. No can sleep good in clothes. Mm. Some people are just like that. What are you gonna do? Uh, I don't think it's very gentlemanly to sleep naked. Well, if he's alone, who the hell cares? You ain't seeing him. <gasps> don't worry about it. Really? Um, well, that's just how I imagine a gentleman. But Not good. Gonta wants everyone to see him as gentlemen. If Kaede say it's not good, Gonta not do it anymore. Oh no, now Kaede, now he's not gonna get any sleep. Mm. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> anything else you think ungentlemanly? Mm. Huh, anything else ungentlemanly? Then... Please tell Gonta what you think is most important to be true gentlemen. Just be nice, dude. Your state of mind. Yeah, that's what I would go with. Don't talk about bugs. Don't worry about that. He likes bugs. You know? Your state of mind? Huh? State of mind? Yeah. When I imagine a gentleman, I see someone who's nice, earnest, and polite. To me, a gentleman is someone who sincerely has all those qualities, you know? Mm. Yes. Gonta thinks so, too. But Gonta not know exactly what to do. Um, well, I suppose. But... But Gonta can be nice to people. Gonta can be serious. Gonta doing his best. Gonta doing all he can. Hey. Kaede, you okay to talk with some more with Gonta? Gonta wants to tell you to tell him when he's not being gentleman, right? I'll do it. Aw, oh, poor bless this guy. Oh yeah. We didn't get a friendship fragment with Himiko, did we? I guess we squandered that opportunity because I couldn't read between the lines. In my mind. If someone doesn't want to hang out with me, they shouldn't be available. I spent some time with Gonta trying to figure out what a gentleman is, but I felt like I was only bringing out more of his wild side. 
He still has a long way to go before he becomes a gentleman. Yeah, but he'll get there. He's definitely gonna do it because he wants to so much. He'll make it. All right. Ding dong. The bing bong, everyone. Here it is. Oh, hello. What are you guys doing? Are you still this messed up over there? Uh, this is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. One of you bastards, this might be your last night time ever. No way! Don't do something violent to start the killing game. You can make it one more night. <laughs> He's still messed. He's still drunk. Get it. Oh, I get it now. I totally get it. <laughs> it's crystal clear to me now. I understand everything. <laughs> yeah, oh, look at your face. Uh, the way your eyes are angled. The way your face is floating. That's a crazy face. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Mono Kid seems really out of it. Is this what happens when you drink too much honey? Nothing, Mono Dam? Okay, we got nothing. Good night. Last night time ever, huh? No, it won't be our last night time ever. Just our last night in this horrible place. Tomorrow night... I'm getting out of this place with everyone else. Yeah. We promised we would all be friends once we got out. Kaede, you're really, really optimistic about this. I don't know. I think your hopes are going to be dashed. That's what I think. Hello. Oh, what's up there? What's up there, Baron Von Noas? I hear kids these days don't even say thank you anymore. I blame the parents. They haven't properly taught them the true meaning of thank you. It's very important to express gratitude to someone who's done something for you. It will make that person feel happy and then they might do something special for you later. In other words, thank you isn't just about conveying gratitude. It also conveys the expectation of a favor in the future. So the more you say thank you, the more you can use the people around you. Oh. So always say thank you to people and make them do lots of stuff for your benefit. Uh, oh. What a nice message. Jeez. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Uh oh. Rise What's, and shine or shine. What's going on over there? Either he has to poop or he has to throw up. Which one is it gonna be? It is now 8 a.m. Time to wake up. My heart's racing. Ooh, today's the day the time limit expires. My heart is pounding with excitement. Don't worry. Don't worry. Even if you end up in hell, at least you can be proud that you didn't do the killing game. The hell you say? You just assuming they all gonna go to hell? <laughs> this square is a square and you're 16 and the triangle who triangles circle to leave square and come circle as this. Oh, you're messed up. Uh oh. Uh, Mono Kid, why don't we go over there and drink some more honey, okay? I don't think that's what he needs. So long, farewell. Oh, waha vita zane. I'd like to stay and kill all these damn bears. Yes? No. <laughs> Well, I tried. The time limit was set to expire tonight, but weirdly enough, I was looking forward to it. Even then, I barely slept the whole night. I slapped my cheeks and leapt out of bed. All right. First, I need to go to Shuichi's room. We're going to catch that mastermind together. Yeah, today's the day we're going to do that. I feel confident, which means that everyone's probably going to die. Who knows? I think I know too much. All right. Shuichi. Ding dong! Is he there? Huh? No response? I wonder if something's the matter. Shuichi? Is he already gone there? He might be in the library already. Maybe he's with Miyu. Whoa, 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 Jesus. Okay, that's good, oh. my little. Ah, oh, Kaede, good morning. Please. Oh, you finally came out? You had me nervous for a second. Sorry. Sorry, I, I was just going to the bathroom. Oh, are you ready then? We have to get the cameras for me, you remember? Okay. Yeah, right. Shuichi, did you wash your hands? It's very important right now, you know? Very important indeed. Wash your hands, kids. Just just wash them all the time. If, you're, if you have nothing else to do and you're thinking about it, yeah! wash your damn hands. Hi, you guys! Hi, Angie! Yoo-hoo! Hey, hey! Have you decided how you want to spend your final moments? Woohoo! Maybe you want to pray to Atua with me? She is so cute. Oh, jeez. What? You shouldn't be giving up so easily. Yeah. That true, true. But you but... two get along so well. I was hoping it'd rub off on the others in the dining hall. Um, huh? 
What are you talking about? Atua has spoken. In such dire times, why won't they stop fighting? Huh? Fighting? Ah. Oh, they're fighting in the dining hall. Atua is really bummed out about it. Fighting in the dining hall? Uh -oh. Shuichi. Shuichi, can you get the stuff for me? I have to see what's happening. Leave it to me. Okay, I'll go get the cameras. Let's meet up later at the classroom by the stairs to the basement. Yeah. The classroom by the stairs to the basement. Okay, got it. Um, Angie, you said the dining hall, right? Do you mind coming with me? Mm-hmm. Okie dokie, we'll stop it together. Who's fighting who, though? And why? I don't know. Could be anybody, to be honest. All right, uh, who's over here? Checkers, it's not you? I thought for some reason you would actually be in the thick of it, to be honest. Oh? What's up? You look super panicked. Are you here to stop the fighting? Yeah. Yeah, I am. And if you know about the fight, why aren't you stopping? Why? Why should I? Something's finally happened to break up all the boring tedium. Huh? Boring? Because? Because you know, don't you, Kaede? <laughs> the time limit ends at 10 p.m. tonight. It's just around the corner. If people feel the need to take action to survive, who are you to stop them, Kaede? Oh, dear. Oh, this would be way simpler if I could just share Shuichi's plan with everyone. Anyway. Uh, but by the same token, who am I to stop you from stopping them? So, go stop them. I believe in you. That's definitely a lie. It's fine. At least he didn't say anything, off, like, too off-color. I mean, for him, that's pretty good. Alright, fine. So, let's, uh... What's the best way to go? Again? I never remember which way. Uh, there's someone over here as well. We could go through that room, but I was actually told not to a lot of the time because, um... You know, you'll miss out on some things. Like, DR2 did that as well. Wait, Maki, I thought you were actually going to be one of the people. Because you look like you're ready to start a fight. You're not there. Uh, Maki, did you hear about the fight in the dining hall? Okay. Yeah, Angie told me. Stay out of it. Uh, I can't just stay out of it. What? That's something that I noticed about Kaede, huh? Like, Makoto and Hajime were a little more passive about things than she is. She has really got, like, her nose right in everything, doesn't she? I, I wonder how that's going to work out for her. Why not? Um, oh. Uh, I see. Because it could start the killing game? No. That's right. I won't let it happen. Hmm. Right. Then what are you wasting time with me for? Get out of here. Whoa. She's right. I need to hurry. Well, I wanted to see who it was. It was, it was important information that I had to have. Fine. So, uh... I'm just running- yeah, I'll go through the main- main hall just to see if someone's maybe, like, in here, in the entrance way. Could be. Dun. Da -da -da -da. Stop fighting, everyone. I'm here to break it up. Everyone, no knock it off. Hey, you kids, just stop screwing around so much. Who could it be? If Shuichi went to see Mew, then Mew's not in here either. So who's fighting in here? It's these guys? Hey, what's going on here? Oh. Oh, Kaede, perfect timing. Yo, Hamtaro, are you getting into a fight with somebody? I didn't think it would be you. I really don't know what to do, Kaede. We almost started talking crazy. <laughs> All I was doing was making a suggestion. So that more people can survive, even if it's just one more. What was, what was that about, then? What were you saying, Ryoma? Um, so that more people can survive? Ryoma, what do you mean by that? Don't you get it? Don't you get it? If time runs out like this, we'll all get annihilated, you know? The only way to avoid that is to play along with the killing game. Huh? What? Now hold on a minute. Kill me. Kill oh. Ryoma. Oh my goodness. Huh? Ryoma. What are you saying? Sheesh. You don't get that either. I'm saying I'll give you guys my life. I... I don't have a reason to live anymore. You don't? Well? So if the rest of you want to live, I'll hand my life over to you. That's wrong! No way! We promised we'd all get out of here together. <laughs> I hoped it'd end up that way. That's why I waited so long to bring it up. But we've just been waiting for the deadline without doing anything to change it. In other words... There's no more time left for idealism, don't you think? Kaede, I kind of have to agree with him a little bit. But it's very selfless. No, it's not idealism. However, this is the best choice for this situation. Whoever murders me gets to leave without a trial. Everyone else survives the time limit. 
After that, the person who gets to escape can go for help and rescue everyone else. Well? How about it? If you got a better idea, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, but the person that murders you, if they're not caught, then everybody else gets killed. Isn't that the way it goes? Despite us surviving um. the initial timeline? Well... Are you really sure about this, dude? What should I do? Maybe if I share Shuichi's plan with him, Ryoma will change his mind. I don't know if this is a good idea. Mm, actually... Ryoma, there's no need for it. Hmm? What's going on? I'm going to end this game. There's no need for that because I'm going to end this game. I've made my decision. I've already decided. Huh? You're going to end the game? Hey. It's not about outfoxing everyone in the killing game, it's about ending the game itself. I don't like your face when you say that. That's the real goal. However... Can you even accomplish such a feat? Oh well, yeah. I wouldn't be saying it if I didn't think I could. Then... How will you end it? You understand that the time limit expires tonight, yes? <laughs> T sorry, I can't tell you. Actually, I could. I wouldn't be having so much trouble. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm going to end this game. Just what I said. I'm going to end this game. Get it? So don't any of you go and do anything unnecessary, alright? Whoa, bro! What is the matter with you? What? Jesus Christ! Unnecessary? You've still got a ways to go. When you put go. it like that, it seems like I still have a ways to go. Why is that being said got so it. often? I don't like this. I got it. I take back my suggestion. Do what you want. Whether you guys live or die is up to you. After Ryoma said that, he left the dining hall. That's a shame. Ugh, that Ryoma, I hoped I helped calm him down a little. Um, anyway, Rontaro, were you serious when you said you knew a way to end the game? Yeah. Not sure. Huh? Did he say it just to get Ryoma to stop saying that crap? How should I put this? Well, even if I did have an idea, I couldn't tell you. Can't risk anyone interfering. Prayer time! Okie dokie! Then Enji will pray for your strategy. Success, Rantaro. You'll get punished. But if you're lying, Atua says he will punish you for three generations to come. Okay. Why is everyone crazy? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> now that's a threat. Well, I'll do my best to live up to your expectations, huh? I guess I have to do my best. What's hap- I don't like this. Something's weird. Rantaro left, but what he had said really affected me. But ending this game, is that even possible? Mm. I suspect he only said that to defuse the situation and stop Ryoma. He spelled defuse wrong. That's okay, though. I, I, I like you so much that I'm willing to overlook it. I mean, ending this game? <laughs> you don't know that! Maybe Rantaro's hidden talent is actually a huge explosion. In the end, only Atua knows. Rantaro's hidden talent is to make spooky faces at you when you're trying to have a serious conversation. That's what I'm going with. I want to know what it is, but we don't have much time left. I can't worry about that now. I need to do something. I don't have time to worry about things I don't understand. I just need to do what I can. Or else, I won't be able to protect everyone. I should go meet up with Shuichi. It's the classroom by the stairs to the basement, right? Right. You're right, Kirumi. For everyone. From there, everyone else can decide what should be done. My desire is to fulfill the desires of others, so I shall comply with everyone's final decision. You're a good girl, Kirumi. You really are. Excuse me, I go, excuse me guys, I just gotta get my, you know, my anger out a little on these chairs. Hey, I leveled up. Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. All humans will die eventually. <laughs> but I'm not scared, because I've got Atua with me. Uh-huh. What about you, handsome? I shall observe. Oh my goodness me, that sprite. I, I am observing you as well at this moment. Yes, it's great. Your beauty. As you all accept, the end that is upon you. Well, I hate to tell you this, sir, but it's upon you as well. I guess that doesn't bother them too much. These three actually, I think, are maybe some of the strongest here. Because it doesn't really seem to bug them. Maybe that's just me, though. I don't know. Maybe it's just wishful thinking that there's someone here that's strong. Ooh! Ooh! Well, you scared me there, big boy, around the corner. What happened? Kaede? Something happened? 
Going to see Rontaro walk by, his face looks scary. I think that's just how he looks. Um, yeah, about that. Ryoma and Rontaro got into a fight. No can do that! Fight? Where? Gonzo, go stop them! No. No, 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 it's fine now. You don't need to worry about it. Sorry! Oh, sorry. Gonzo not where he needed most. No. Don't worry about it. If Angie hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known about it either. <sighs> okay. That's right! Anyway, Kirumi, Kiyo, and Angie are in the dining hall today. How about you eat breakfast with them? Oh, really? Going to see. Then Gonzo also go to dining hall. Oh, bless this guy. What a cutie. Alright, let's run. Oh! Hey, Sue, how are you doing? Good morning, Kayede. Um, morning. Hey! Hey, so earlier I saw Shuichi. Huh? What? Um, um I saw Shuichi come out of Miyu's research lab. Yeah. Oh, you don't say. Uh... I wonder what he was doing in there so early in the morning. Like I, I don't think that anything happened, but in a life or death situation like this... Do you want to try? You'd expect people to suddenly develop feelings for each other, right? Um... Uh... I don't think so. Uh, no, Katie, that does happen. Yeah, you're right. Now's not the time for that. The time limit's up tonight anyway. <sighs> After going through so much, it's strange. But I feel like I've come to accept it. <sighs> oh, how should I spend the last day of my life? I don't know. Come up with something good though for me, will you? Kind of want to know what everyone has to say about this right now because I bet you everybody's got the same kind of similar thoughts. The classroom. It should be this one. Let's see. Shuichi, you in here? He is. All right. You all right? Sorry, I'm late. No. It's all right. I just got here too. Um. How did it go? Did Mia finish the cameras? That's... She must have been working all night. She was too tired to even make fun of me. Anyway, here's the result. Oh, look at that. Two cameras that will take a picture when the sensor detects movement. It literally looks like they're just duct taped on. Oh, well done, Mia. Remember. And this one will take a picture and trigger the receiver. Of course, they're turned off right now, so they aren't taking any pictures. Hmm. Since they're disposable cameras, we'll have to manually wind the film, right? No. Yes, Mia thought of that. She told me that the cameras will wind automatically. I see. So, once they're set up, they'll take pictures every time the sensor is triggered? Okay. She also modified them so that they'll be completely silent to not attract attention. That was going to be my next question. Like, wouldn't someone know? I see. They're completely silent? This is perfect. Well. It needs to be. They're absolutely essential to our plan. Uh, and do these cameras have flashes? That's... Yeah, they still have flashes on them, but I switched them off. They shouldn't be a problem. But... But we need to make sure they don't get turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. That's right. Yeah, I'll be careful. You better hope nobody mm -hmm. does this in the dark or you're not going to see anything. I'm impressed, though. Mew modified them to our specifications. Then... All right. I'll tell you a little bit about this classroom before we sit up in the library. Huh? Huh? Tell me about this classroom? Is that all right? I think this is the perfect place to keep watch after we set up the cameras. Um, that's fine, but why this classroom? That's true. Because we can see anyone who goes down to the basement with the door open a little. Oh, I see. Look, yeah, look at you that. You can see the staircase, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. We can give a lookout for anyone who goes down to the basement. Perfect, okay. Oh my gosh, they look so cute in the doorway. Hey. There's one more reason I chose this specific classroom. One more reason? One more reason? Well, I mean, there's a monitor, but there's always a monitor here. Hey! It's because of something. Something that's only here. Uh... Oh, an air vent! Oh! I didn't even see that at first. Is this a vent? That's... It's connected to the library in the basement. You'll recognize the smell immediately. Hmm. The smell? After Shuichi told me that, I leaned in closer to the vent. Uh, it smells like musty old books. It leads to the library? Well... It's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. Right, okay. Remember. Remember the duct we noticed in the basement hallway? It leads here. Did we notice that? Did I forget to look at that before? Maybe I just forgot. But a vent in a classroom? That's an odd design choice for a school. Then again, everything about this school is odd. Uh, this um, vent isn't the other reason why I chose this specific classroom to keep watch. 
The vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit, so we should watch this carefully, too. Hmm. I don't think I could fit through there. Well, maybe I could, but it'd be tough. Yeah. Well, I guess this is the perfect spot to keep a lookout. Then... Anyway, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. It's finally time to set our plan in motion. I'm getting nervous. Ugh, my heart's racing. We can do it. Right? Surely it'll be okay, as long as no one sees us doing this, because then we're going to be in big trouble. Right, okay. Let's go downstairs. Still don't like how dark it is down here. I'm going to be honest with you. I really, I really just don't. It's not, I'm not a fan. Can we see that vent from here? Don't know. Oh, unless it's actually in the library itself. Is it over here? Aha, yeah, right here. Yeah, you know what? Somehow I never, I don't think I've actually looked at this before. But there's a thing here that's noticeable too, and whatever that says, it says on. Okay. Let's go in and see what happens. Hopefully there's nobody in here. Uh, nope. Looks like we're safe. Hey, so where did you want to place the cameras? You're right. Let's aim the one linked to the receiver at the moving bookcase. If we place the security sensor on the bookcase itself, then when it opens, the receiver will let us know. Mm-hmm. And if we place the camera to face the moving bookcase... Okay. Yes, the camera should capture the exact moment the mastermind moves it. Hmm. And where are we putting the other two sensors? Remember. Well, there are two entrances to the library. The front entrance near the stairs, and the rear entrance to the hallway. Let's aim one at each entrance. That way, we'll have pictures of everyone who enters the library. Good thinking. Huh? That's probably a really good idea. But how about over there? Um, didn't you say a person could fit through the vent that connects to the classroom? Hey. Wait, shouldn't we make sure a person could actually fit through it? That's... I think it'll be fine since we'll be keeping watch in the classroom. But we should investigate it a little more, just in case. We can't reach that high. We need something to stand on. Like a globe? Where is that vent even in here? Oh, here it is here. Um, what about, I mean, you guys, there's five million books in here. You could literally, there's also a ladder. You could literally just pile up as many books as you wanted. Oh, I can probably use this ladder. Position the ladder below the vent and climbed up. Oh, Jesus, Kaede, be careful. Now that I'm up here, this is pretty high. It's kind of scary. You're all right, girl. You okay? Do you want to switch? <laughs> nah, I'm fine. Good lord. By the way, can you see my, um, delicates? No, cause no. He wasn't looking. Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. He was. Shuichi, you dog. Sorry, huh? So you did see them. It's fine, girl. Everyone wear underwear. Well, whatever. You can't unsee them. Anyway, this is the vent. There's a grate covering the vent, so I don't think anyone can go through. This music is weird. Can I take the grate off? Uh, there we go. Is that what you want to do? Oh, the grate came off pretty easily. Okay. Did you break something, Kaede? Were we supposed to do that? Maybe we should have left it on so that we were sure no one could have gone through here. Um, no, I didn't break it. <laughs> Are you, girl, you sure? Are you sure, though? I saw the look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. I pushed the grate into the duct. Then I lifted my body and looked inside. So how's it look? Could a person fit in there? Maybe Ryoma or... Maybe... Who knows? Himiko, maybe? Hmm. It would be pretty difficult. The two smallest. might be able to crawl through. I can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way, though. Oh. Well, we'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom. Okay. So that should be okay, right? Right. Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so no one can get through. All right, there you go. With that, I began to arrange the books around the vent. Well, that should do it. After I finished stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. You're all right, Kaede. Are you okay? Kaede, what's wrong? What's the matter? Yeah, this will work. This will definitely work. Huh? Huh? Got it? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yeah, it definitely will. This plan is perfectly composed like Chopin's ballades. You know, 
I actually really like complicated contraptions like Rube Goldberg machines and stuff. Ballads is probably what I should have said earlier. Ballades. So I'm positive this will work. This setup is perfect. Uh, um... You really think so? Of course. Of course. We'll definitely catch the mastermind and then we'll all escape. All right. So let's hurry and set up the cameras. Then? Yeah, so I think it'd be a good idea to set up the cameras between books so that... Uh... Oh, hold on. I had an idea while I was on top of the bookcase. What if we place a camera up there? I'm sure the mastermind wouldn't notice it. But... Ah, uh, but with all those books stacked to the top, I don't know if there's room for the camera. You know? I'll test it out while you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll organize the books on top of the bookcase and see if I can make room for a camera. Right? That way, we won't waste any time, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right! All right, let's do it! All right, get to work. I climbed up the ladder and looked at the top of the bookcase. Hmm. There are way more books here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered end to end with cluttered stacks of books. Oh, right! This is nothing. As I move the ladder, I reorganize the books bit by bit. Jeez, uh, there are too many books. It might be too hard to set up a camera here. I knew it. I thought so. No. Wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Hey! Katie, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's alright. Yeah, it's okay. Shuichi's plan was really good. I continued moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. Wow, Jesus. Jeez, these books are so heavy. What's this, an encyclopedia? Flipped open the book. What is it? Nothing? Nothing good? Wait! Uh, Kaede, is this really the time to be reading a book? Uh, sorry, I get distracted easily when I'm organizing things. After I made that excuse, I rushed to reorganize the heavy books, but... Um, looks like there are too many books after all. You can't really make space, can you? Aww. It'd be easier if we could move them to the ground, but that would look suspicious. You mean what you've just done doesn't look suspicious? Look at that, it doesn't look anything like before. You're right. Yeah, we have to minimize any risk of the mastermind noticing the cameras. Well, guys, you failed, I think, because before it looked haphazard, and now it looks completely organized. Oh, I guess it'd be better to put the camera between the books like you suggested. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you look oddly happy. Uh, no, um... I don't. Uh, if we put them on top of the bookcase, the angle wouldn't quite reach. Aww. Oh, here I thought it'd be a good idea. Is that alright? So, about the places to put the cameras. Yes. Oh, I see. Ooh. Hmm. We decided to place a security sensor on top of the moving bookcase. And the camera link to it will be set up right here. That way it'll capture the moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. I see. We're gonna place the other two cameras near the exit and entrance, right? Wow, this now we're getting into Phoenix Wright territory. I love it. I suppose so. I think here and here. And this bookcase is good. They would have to pass by here no matter which door they used. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, that looks perfect. Then I'll set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the clam has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Then... Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. And we'll set the cameras near each door. Hey! Oh, I almost forgot. I brought duct tape from the warehouse. You can use it. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Let's get to work and do it. <coughs> Excuse me, oh my gosh. With that, we got to work. I meticulously placed the cameras in the gaps of the bookshelves. We need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. I don't know, guys. That looks kind of suspicious to me. No? I better use a lot of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of position. These cameras are important. I gotta do it right. Goodness me. This is a big cutscene just to set these yeah. up. Alright, that should do it. Okay. I'm finished too. God, how long did that take? To guys, did that take all day? Mm. Now, no matter which entrance they use, the mastermind will be caught on camera. And if they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that and signal this receiver. Mm -hmm. At that moment, the camera attached to the sensor will snap the critical picture. Alright. I hope this works. I don't know. Is it going to? We might have to find out in the next one. Sorry, I, I, I think this is leading up to something big. I'm just not sure where it's going to be. So when we come back, we'll see if it worked. I hope it does, because they seem very optimistic. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Toodaloo!